Today we're gonna have our Nakan food. Let's feast! Pernakan food is the food of the Pernakan people and Pernakan people are Chinese immigrants who settled down predominantly in uh, Malacca and Penang. The Pernakan cuisine developed over time, over generations uh, through intermarriage and, uh, uh, and settling down in that uh, in the new uh, fused culture of the Chinese and the local culture. And this place is uh, more towards the Malacca uh, Peranakan cuisine because the chef here is a third generation Malacca Peranakan. We are really excited to be here. The decor is amazing and the music that's playing like one of those really old Malay songs. It really has the Peranakan feel. Can't wait to try the food. And next we have a true blue Peranakan dish. It's called the Ayam Buak Keluak. And I have no idea what the ingredients are. It, it looks like there's a lot of uh, the there's, there's coconut inside, there's bay leaves. Uh, I really, I, I have to taste this to find out. I'm going to scoop some of that sauce into my rice. See, I'm going to try some of that sauce and see what it tastes like first. It's, it's, <laughs> I need to eat more, I, I want to eat it with the meat, there's, there's a lot more to this, I know all the flavors combined, I can just taste it on the sauce. Okay, I'm gonna grab another piece of chicken, ay, ay, ay. okay, and that, and some more sauce, and I'm gonna use my hands to eat. The gravy is really, really thick. It's, 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 you can feel there's a lot of sediments in it, but it's like, it is really smooth, like puree. This definitely took a lot of time to prepare. Oh, the chicken is tender. You can see it's really tender and it's, it just tears up really well. I'm gonna mix it with the rice and the gravy. And let's do this. Salty and sour. The flavors, the, the sauce just when you chew into the chicken, it just penetrates right into the flesh. Mm, the, the, the texture of the chicken is really nice, very nicely cooked, very nice for the sauce. This the entire dish is just. <laughs> yeah. For the first time, in food vibrations, I've eaten something that I don't know what to say. It's, it's very different for me. It's a very unique experience and it's really good. Okay, I'm going to explain more about Wakalwa. Why is it called Wakalwa? Because of this. Okay, can you see clear? Okay. Okay, basically, what happened is this nut is a very poisonous nut. So what they have to prepare is people have to soak this nut for three to four days and you can break the opening so that you can scoop out the flesh inside. And this is how it looks like. They have to prepare this way, otherwise it's poisonous. I'm going to try the, the pluak, which is the nut. And the chef said that usually um, the, some the, the kluwa is a bit sandy and greeny, but here they actually they took it out and they pureed it, so it's a bit more smooth. So I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna dig that that sauce, that that black sauce. Look at it. Oh my god! Can't wait to try this. Oh my god! It's it's nutty, it's bitter. That that sauce, the nut thingy. Uh, seeped into the gravy and that's why it has a very unique taste it's really creamy but 
mm, it's not the kind of cream you would expect, but the nut is just oh god. I'm gonna take some of this nut sauce. I'm gonna take some of my rice, get that that nut paste out, and I'm gonna grab some of the chicken. Oh god, they, I, I can't believe this. We just had one dish and I'm mind blown. And okay, wait, and then I'm gonna grab more of that sauce. You can see the color difference. This is so much darker. I'm gonna mix this together. Usually, I think from the look of food, you know, Chinese food or Indian food, Malay food, you can. You can predict what to expect, but this, no. You must try this. You understand? But take my word for it, it's good. That was very, very different. The nut was pretty weird for me. Was, uh, uh, uh. There's no description. You have to try it. There's nothing like you have tasted anything before. So I'm going to go with something more familiar. We're going to go with pork belly in that, uh, in that satay sauce kind of thing. Let's try that. And here we have the satay babi samchan, and samchan in Hokkien means uh, pork belly. So this is the the Peranakan version of satay, but it's different because there's no skewers or no peanuts. It's made out of pork belly, my favorite. You can see the sauce. It's so thick, and the pork. You can see. Can you see the the pork fats? Is there's a lot of it. So let's let's. Take a big chunk and dump it into my rice. More sauce. There's always room for sauce. Oh god. I can feel the, the pork fat melting. The sauce is so good. It's very similar to the satay sauce, but doesn't have peanuts. Um, it, it still tastes nutty and spicy and and the the pork has been well stewed it, it it's it's all it's that, that sauce is filled with that pork flavor the last bite the sauce distracted me from the pork so i'm gonna just try the pork alone mm. it's stewed and uh, it, it just tears off as you chew. And it's filled with that pork flavor. The pork fat melts as you chew it. It's one of the best pork bellies I've had. Then with that sauce, oh god. You can see that this is the amount of fat inside uh, of the pork belly. You can see how springy it is. And the only way that this is achievable is if you cook it for long hours under low heat. And, and based on the tenderness of, of the pork, the, the fleshy part, I can say that this has taken a long time to cook. Next up, we have the nasi ulam. Nasi means rice, ulam means herbs. And this dish, although it looks like a very simple dish, it takes hours of preparation because of the seasoning and the herbs. They, they take quite a bit to prepare. I'm gonna break this apart. Oh, oh my god. It's so much of herbs. And do you see there's there's fish inside? There's like tiny pieces of fish. I'm gonna eat this. This is a bit normal light. Um, you can taste like the spring onions. There's a lot of spices in there. It's a lot of spices. Yeah, I remember. It's crunchy and you feel a lot of different textures apart from the rice. You also feel that the fish that uh, I think it's a dried fish. Hmm, it's just a nice fish. It's very fragrant, you can feel it in your mouth. The herbs, the herbs and the fish and that rice it and the spice, all of it works very well. Okay, I'm gonna take some of the sambal, I'm gonna mix it with that with that nasi ulam. Oh, gee. It, whatever I said about strength, the chili has solved it by birds. 
very very potent it's as dangerous as it looks it's really the, the spice the spice levels this it makes everything taste it brings it brings up it brings out the fragrance first. And we just spoke to the chef and he said that the nasi wulam has six different kind of herbs and it also they use a fried fish and then they mince it up into small pieces and I think that's what gives it, gives that that small little bits of uh, fishy taste and, and texture it makes it really interesting we have another dish made out of fish it's called kua lada ikan and I've never tasted this either so I'm gonna eat it and tell you what it tastes like okay we're gonna go in for the, the fish dish let's grab a fish and go onto my plate and then some of that sauce it's bit, it's, uh, the sauce is a bit thick, thicker. We're gonna pour it all over. Oh, it looks pretty beautiful. Mm. This one is a bit, yeah, it still has that nutty taste, uh, uh, has a hint of sourness, saltiness. Not really spicy at all, but that fish, I think it's stingray. really fresh you can taste the freshness in it and they give you a really thick thick piece of, of stingray you can see it's a really thick piece of uh, stingray They're like this is the bone and then here's all that flesh the whole thing is just all stingray flesh the sauce does not contain much of the flavor for the stingray and the stingray just remains like it's just coated with that sauce but it still has this strong stingray uh, sort of good fishy taste when you bite it, when you chew it together, it blends in your mouth and that flavor blending is awesome. That was one of the most delicious things that we've eaten. It was so good that we, 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 we literally were speechless, but the both of us managed to finish a whole lot of food. We'd like to thank Chef Raymond for inviting us. It was really a pleasure and an honor to eat at the restaurant. This place serves real, authentic Peranakan cuisine. The food is delicious, the, the portions are generous, the ingredients are fresh. And uh, usually, like, like Peranakan food, for all the dishes, most of the dishes, they'll take a long preparation time. It could go up to six hours or more. So you guys are going to get more than what you paid for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next one. So till then, good vibrations from Food Vibrations.